so we're gonna film a cool video. We're gonna go shoot a field round. So we're gonna get a quick and dirty sight tape. Normally we would shoot like 80 yards and get a really good 80 yard mark and then a closer mark like 20. But instead we're gonna get 55 yards, which is like 50 meters and a quick 20. Go print some sight tapes real quick and just wing it on the field course. We're gonna shoot 14 targets, see how we do. And yeah, we're here at Landon's house and uh, Harrisburg Archers is right down the road. so. I'm gonna go shoot 14 targets at Harrisburg Archers. We're holding uh, NFA mids on our field course. So, June. Yeah, what, what is that? It's like the first uh, first weekend in June? Second something? weekend. Second weekend, something like that. So if you're in the Mid-Atlantic area and you wanna shoot a cool field round for a weekend, definitely check out NFA Mid-Atlantic sectionals and register. So it's always nice. So I'm gonna show you how I measure from the center of the arrow to the center of the peep sight. So quick trick, shout out to Chuck Cooley for uh, telling me about this because I would have just measured, um, from, I would just eyeballed it from the center of the peep sight to the center of the arrow. But instead, what you can do is you can measure the outer diameter of the peep sight, like so. So Landon, that is 0 0.435 inches. Not shooting an Eastern arrow, you're crazy, but just measure the outer diameter of the arrow, like so. So 0.205, so. And then what you're gonna do next is measure from the center, or the outside of the arrow, the bottom of the peep sight, like so. And I got 3.495 inches. So what you're going to do is you're going to divide this uh, diameter by two, get the radius. So then that gives you the center of the peep sight and then divide the outside diameter of this by two and that gives you the radius to the center of the arrow. Then add the distance, add those three numbers together and that gives you center of the peep sight to the center of the arrow really accurately. So next up, we're going to measure from the center of the peep sight to the glass. So I'm just going to stick the end of the tape measure and the glass, like so. This is a cool tape measure because it has everything listed out. So we are at 33 and a 16th, exact. All right, so I went ahead and selected um, PSC Super X 37 put in 58.8 pounds and I'm at 20 and a quarter inch draw length. And all I did was you'd go to the select both from list and then select that and transfer to your current setup. And then in the site configuration, doing the Shibuya, um, 30.625 uh, was the peep to center peep to the glass. And then peep height at full draw was 3.71 inches. All right, so now Eason 4mm XM Parallel Pro, 420 spine, and I do need my arrow length. I'm sure we were accurate to that many significant digits. I highly doubt that. So, all right, so that's good. Point weight, 130. I'm not actually shooting 120. I didn't really know that. Knock detail. Go to biter, hunter pin, do you right? Yeah. Okay. Knock adapter manufacturer, 
the east then. All right, so what was my 20 yard mark? Your 20 yard mark was 0.8. One yard was 0.8 and 55 was 16.6. 16.6? Yep. So 20 was 0.8 and 55 was 16.6? Yep. Right. I'm going to be shooting past 90 yards. Um, print. So now go ahead and print this. Do Command P. And the big, the big thing that you need to make sure is that this, the scaling is 100%. That's huge. So I'm going to go ahead and print this out and then put it on my site and then go test it out. Here at Harrisburg Archers, um, we're going to shoot 14 field targets this afternoon and see how we do. This is where they're having mid-Atlantic sectionals, as Landon said earlier. And yeah, see how we do. Made very rough sight tapes. They're as close as we're gonna get for spending 15 minutes on them, but typically we'd spend like hours, you know, making sure they're perfect. But um, we did not do that. And just so we get out here and shoot a little bit, so. So this is target number one. We're gonna shoot four arrows at 20 yards and just see how we do. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and score those arrows. Shoot field rounds and even 3D rounds. Make sure that your sight is level and your bubble's in the middle when you do shoot, so. But this is target number one, so Landon has a 20 with zero just because he's a little bit low left. And then I have a, a 20 with three, three X's. So target number two is up next. Right, 40 so yards, target two. So we have a 40 yard here. Um, I shot a 20 with two, and Tyler shot a 20 with three. So we're shooting 30 yards, and yeah. This is the farthest distance on this face. Target number three, 30 yard. Um, this one, I got a 20 with two, and Tyler got a 20 with two as well. So now we're at the 45 walk up, so we're gonna shoot one arrow at each distance up till 30 yards in five yard increments. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot. Nice and nice. 
Oh my god, that's picture perfect, man. Sweet. Uh, I got a 20 with two, and Tyler smoked it with a 20 with four. Uh, good end for Tyler. Okay, end for me. Uh, not bad. So now we're 60 at 60. Yeah, good. So now we're on the 50 yarder. We're here for 49. So the 80-yard walk-up, one of the hardest targets on the course. Um, I shot a 20 with three, and so did Tyler. Tyler got a 20 with three, looks like. Lenny got a 20 with three. I got so, closest to the center. You got closest to the center, so he won. <laughs> so we have a 55-yard target, and a little bit downhill, so we might have to cut. We're gonna see what Landon's range finder says here in a second. Whenever you shoot up or down, uh, the true distance isn't um, always what's labeled. So. I'm getting 54 and a half on the range finder. Sounds about right. Shot number one. Because it's cosine angle distance, right? All right, 25 yarder. I have a 20 with one, and Tyler has a 20 with three. Go. So Tyler, Shot a 20 with one X. Then I shot a 19 with three X's, so. All right, so we just shot the 65. 
Um, yeah, I have an 18 with one, and Tyler has a 20 with one. Target 10, 15 yards. Good. Yep. So I got a 50. This is the 50 yard target, but I got a 20 with three, and Tyler got a 20 with two. So Landon and I both shot uh, 20 with uh, three, it looks like. Um, so I wanted to quickly explain, I have a you know great group right here, you know, three arrows touching, which is great. But this was my first arrow. So what I noticed was I didn't take into account that we're on the hill and um, you want to put your top cam into the hill um, to start off. And then right when the shot breaks, your bubble will be in the middle. But instead I lined my bubble up in the middle uh, at first and then it slowly went away from the hill which is what happens when you shoot on a hill. And my top cam went to the left, and that's why this arrow was just a little bit to the left. And I also gave my sight like three clicks, or four clicks, something like that, uh, to move the arrow down. So just a little tip, but uh, yeah, to the next target. So last target, 35 fan. So I'm gonna shoot two in the left, two in the right, one at each stake. All right, so that was the last target, and uh, Landon, you got two X's or three X's? Three X's, and I have three X's as well, so 20 and three X's for both of us.